Oh, we're live. Hi. Hi. Ooh, <laughs> Hi sorry for the delay. <laughs> um, welcome to episode three it is this week, and we're talking about Facebook advertising, and we've got our Facebook specialist, Liam, with us here, and wine. I'm just going to quickly mention the wine before Hayley keeps going. <laughs> yeah. um, we're drinking tonight, today the Tasmania Ninth Island. It's a Pinot Noir. I never know how to pronounce Noir. it. Noir. 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 Yes. <laughs> cool. Sorry, how was That's all right. No, I was going to introduce you and then the wine, but Sorry. if you want to introduce the wine first, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> it's, very it's very important. It's very important. And someone that can drink wine with me as well, because <laughs> Hayley, you got really excited. I did. <laughs> Whereas I'm excited with <laughs> tea. <laughs> right, okay. Ah, so the reason um, we're talking about uh, Facebook advertisers because last week we talked about branding and we thought the next step from that would be Facebook advertising. Obviously, that's what we specialise here at Your Social Voice. Um, also, we wanted to talk to Liam and ask him for his advice um, because Liam knows a lot about Facebook advertising and we're both in uh, the boat where we have businesses on the side, so side hustles, mm -hmm. and we want to chat about how we can optimise um, Facebook, and so over to you, Liam. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> well, what a what a privilege it is to have the opportunity to come on Unwind Time. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> and tea time. Tea time. I will convert you. This yeah. is happening, guys. Yeah. No, 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 no. Really, in that mug, there's wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually whiskey on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I guess, uh, where do you want to, where do you want to go? Because we've so, got so many okay. different ways. Let's start. And, and yeah, we're, we're mm. going to probably lots of different, different directions from that. Mm -hmm. But I think even so before drop. talking about my path, let's start at the very beginning, which I think would be Regan, you were talking about how you've got a Facebook page up. You have your business, you're working and operating in yeah. your business at the moment, and you have an Instagram page and Facebook page. Yes. However, you're not using Facebook adverts at the moment. No, so <laughs> I really should be, but I'm, I'm not sort of going down that path just yet. Um, but I was talking to Hales before, and I was like, you know what, I'm, what I would really like to know, if I didn't have a background in marketing, is how would you um, distinguish your target market using ads? Because I find that that's a lot of people don't like they say oh, I can just sponsor or boost a post, but what we do is actually target specifically target our target audience and our clients. So how, in the simplest way to explain that, mm -hmm. how would you do that from a startup point of view? Yep. If you were doing it yourself to start with. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So great question. Mm -hmm. um, so I think a lot of uh, business owners that come to us in the early stages, you know, they're like, oh, I want to get on Facebook. I've heard so many people you know, saying how great it is and you've got to get on it and, um, you know, there's so much opportunity there, which is true, but if you don't have the right sort of foundation set up to begin with, it's very easy to blow a lot of money spending on ads and, and everything with Facebook. <clears throat> so um, it's, it's really important to have a bit of an understanding of how to get started. And the first thing you mentioned there was having an idea of who your target audience is. And I know that, that we went through um, last week or the week before, I think, just about, uh, from a branding perspective, mm -hmm. kind of getting an idea of who, who you're, you're um, trying to get your brand out to. Because you know, if, if you're going after people who are you know, a baby boomer, that message or that, that brand that you want to portray is going to be a lot different to a millennial, for yeah. example. So yeah. having a really clear understanding of who it is, and you can have different, um, you know, demographics within your whole, I guess, um, broad target, target market, but just knowing that your message is going to be a little bit different for each, um, each individual um, yeah, along, along the way, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, getting really clear on who your target market is, firstly. Um, and then once you've got that sort of down pat, mm -hmm. then taking the big leap and going into the back-end engine room of Facebook, which we call 